hot. Finally, I thought it was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Yeah, oh! Rather than those here they were, oh, the green! Oh, that's what I had to do. Damn it. Close. Essence of death. Oh, he's going crazy. They needn't have done it. Those here were innocents. And I... And I... Oh, he disappeared. He w he was crazy, but not that crazy. They disappear. They all disappear. Down here, we all float. The woman manifests strong symptoms of schizophrenia. To avoid marring her beauty, I decided not to employ the standard therapy. The red hot circlet but instead to increase her herb dosages. As she was prone to having fits of aggression, I've had the patient chained. The pictures she's painted on the walls should be analyzed. The patient has contracted dysentery. There's no hope for him now. I had him isolated and ordered that prayers be said for him. I also increased the dosage of his herbs. They seem to have, had, they seem to have some healing properties, but incidentally also loosened tongues. Oh, is it mine? No matter. Clean it. I'm in pain. I beg you, help. Give me some medicine. They deserve to suffer. I'm in pain. Did these other guys see him too? Help. Give me some medicine. Alrighty then. Is that a real person? Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with they you! They just left him alone? It's not my fault! It wasn't me! Not me! What's not your fault? Fire! Fire everywhere! It wasn't meant to happen! I didn't want that! I swear! Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. Go away! Leave me alone! No! He wants drugs, eh? We can find him some drugs. Stop. Whatever happened here made Go quite an away! Even on those who are mad. Go away! I have to find the sedative. Four quarts of medicine. Leave me alone! No! Die. 
Oh, there's another one. They never go after the other guy. They always go after me. What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, lives. you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Tell me the truth. <sighs> We're former soldiers fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune. Thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated, talked of how we would divide the treasure, and took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Now, nice, Squidly, keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke. That is Any screwed up, man. A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet, and willing. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her, and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance, it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nelf Guardian's corpse. No way! Ha uh -huh, like that guy? Lee! No Lee! Way. Leave me be! Away with you! Freaky scary. Oh crap, I A meant to save it. Leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Oh, whoa. Your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. Can we fight him? No, we talk to him. Lead Gripley to Rupert. They deserve to suffer! The patient's drawings seem to confirm the diagnosis of a schizophrenia. The cruelty prevalent in them undoubtedly stems from childhood events. A strong trauma to be confirmed, coupled 
but the dominating mother have warped this poor creature's mind. The patient will receive treatment have decided to increase the dosage of her herb mixture. In addition to its healing properties, the concoction seems to force patients to reveal the truth about themselves. And the truth frees us. Wait, who's this? Bernard Laredo's letter. Wish to apologize for the behavior of my mother once more. The hag has been mad since I can remember, and I always wondered how she managed to acquire enough wealth to buy the house and guarantee my office in Flotsam. I hope His High Highness Emissary was not permanently disturbed by her excesses. I solemnly swear that the red-hot circlet was just a foolish jest. Furthermore, I confirm that I will use my position in office according to His Royal Highness's wishes, and was as, as was agreed at the meeting. As a patriot, I wholeheartedly agree with your excellences, Excellency's opinion. Flotsam cannot allow chaos and lawlessness. The plague's inseparable from interregnum um, to rule its streets. The king is dead. Long live the king. Bernard Laredo, Flotsam Garrison Commander. So I can't kill him, huh? I have to lead what's his name over here. And. I met the Nilf Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Well, I don't have an option? Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. Hmm. Hmm. I already have. Come on, let me show you something. Who do I see? Remember me? Corpse man. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit. Remember what you did with the people of this house. You deceived us! Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. Oh, they're just gonna stand there, huh? I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! Damn. He's still alive? Witcher's robust silver sword. The curse has been lifted. I'm almost 10 hours into this game and I haven't screwed one whore yet. Not that I can't, it just doesn't seem like the prudent thing to do. With Triss right there all the time. Ew. Collect mucus. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. Diagnostic spell? This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. I'm a mutant. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Yes. Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection. Proudly. Evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown mm. on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. 
But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula. I for could. The potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> Only as long as we need to. Don't go chasing portals now. She gets to go through the portal, but I can't. Oh my god, I want to go through the portal. What the heck? That's not fair. I want a fast travel thingamabobber. If I wanted to walk, I would go do it in real life. And burn some calories. Where can I find some Ostmark? Cedric, I need some Ostmark. It's a rare variety of moss. Grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south. Deep in the woods. If Osmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Run away! Oh, thank you. Whoever did that. I completely didn't even know somebody was watching. I was just playing with myself. Giggity. <laughs> 